Hey guys, welcome back to Summer Scotland 90, FIFA 15 ever in career mode, episode 4, and it's transfer deadline day. Let's see who we can make any sense for. We've been looking at Danny Ings, need to bring in another striker, I believe. Lukaku and Eto are not really delivering this season. Eto getting pretty up there, he's old. Maybe leaving soon. It's uh, Brennan Keeper, uh, Simone Scuffet, uh, Tim Howard, 35 years of age, and he's been out injured for about three months now, so yeah, we definitely need to bring in a, a keeper here to, to uh, make us uh, more solid in nets or whatever you want to call it. But here's Danny Ng, so they've rejected a £2.5 million bid. Well, actually, it was a £2 million bid, so we're going to bid 2.5 and see what happens. Eight hours left now, not not a lot going. Barcelona signed Joy Martino, he was a person that we had on our transfer targets earlier in the season, but we were priced out of that deal, so we're going to have to up the bid to 2.75 million here for uh, Danny Ings and uh, 5.5 .5 here for Simone Scuffet, the 18 year old goalkeeper. So let's see if they can get back to us. And they have uh, Simone accepted the deal, so we're going to offer him 10 grand here. Four years on his contract, five year deal, important first team player, or squad rotation player even. And uh, let's see if he accepts that, Danny Ings. That transfer was also accepted. Let's offer him 20k for a five year deal and he's going to be a squad rotation player probably. Like, don't think he's going to be starting in that many games. So uh, six hours to go and Danny Ings has accepted that contract. So. It's going to be our first sign in the transfer deadline day, and uh, Simone Scuffet is also accepted this deal. So there's two uh, decent signings, I believe. As you can see, Aguero went to Real Madrid, 59.5 million. What a huge transfer that is! Burnley, they're also bringing in loads of players. Perhaps that's why they had to sell Danny Ings there to make up the money. So only three hours left, and not a lot going down. Bayern have uh, managed to. Get Cavani away for PSG for nearly 35 million, but that's about it, really. Oscar's away to Athletic Madrid for 21.5 million, two hours left. The Arsenal, there you can see, not doing any business in the transfer deadline day, no one in, no one out. Chelsea in talks with company, but I think that's going to do it. 121 million, 126 million spent so far this uh, day, and there you go, it's, it's going to. It's going to end it really, no one else has come in for bids, so that's transfer deadline day, a decent day for us. And now we're against West Brom here at the Horfons. You can see the, the West Brom team, Nusain and Robbie Keane are starting up front with Cessing Young and behind them. Robbie Keane coming back from his stint in America, the Major League Soccer. Obviously, it doesn't feel it's just done yet. And you can see forever and Scuffet will be starting today. Danny Ings only finds himself on the bench, but what a chance here for young 18 year old Simone Scuffet to make his Everton debut. Can he impress while things out? And uh, Ferella there with a shot early on, but that one's well wide there, the keeper there. Not troubling. Says a young, nice back heel to Jakob in this. Do we deflection and ran through to scuff it and he picks that one up rather easily. There's Barkley. And Barkley. Barkley with a nice wee bit of skill and his shot right into the top corner. You don't save those, Ross Barkley. Puts Everton 1 0 in front there. Lovely wee bit of skill. He sidestepped the West Brom defender and shot right into the upper corner of the net, man. Picked that one out. Ben Foster. Lovely strike there by Ross Barkley. He's had a good season so far, it's his uh, second goal of the Premier League. And uh, making a substitution now, and here comes Naismith. On for the injured Morales, I believe, and that's McGeady. McGeady a chance to make it to for half time, Lukaku, and it's saved by Ben Foster. And you can see the half time starts, great even game there. Not a lot happening. With a score one nil. Let's take it on the highlights from that. But Everton do have the goal, one goal lead, so Malumbu to Farella. And this shot's took a deflection as it goes into the keeper's hands. There's the ball in. That cross cut out by the defender. Hit with a volley here. Decent effort. Sometimes it's easier coming off the bench. You know, the opposition are tired a touch, a bit more space. Let's see. Varela. 
That's a bad tackle there. And um, foul Jagielka there. He he could be in trouble. It's only a yellow card. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking. Look at that! Yeah, come right in from behind and. It's lucky they're not to see red and scuff out there with the shot up to Danny Engs. Danny Engs heads it down to Gronier and can Gronier nice he's, he's, he's run past pace strength and he manages he stayed steps and what a goal Gronier there ran all the way. Danny Engs with the header down and Clement Gronier there. The new signing from Leon, look at that. Pace and strength, determination and he's what a finish there. Places it right into the corner. Great position. The finesse shot, side foots it right in. Ben Foster there. No chance of keeping that one out in Everton now with a two goal lead. Five minutes to go. It's not looking likely here for West Brom to do anything, but here's Wisdom now. Wisdom with a cross into the back post, but it's headed away. Now Gronier with the clearance, and that is going to do it here at the Horfons. It's finished. West Brom now, Everton 2. Simone scuff it there, celebrates, and he's had a great day. Clean sheet on his debut. There you can see the stats. Pretty even game, but Everton more clinical in front of the goals, and. Uh, yeah, perhaps just a better attack and play, but end of the day it's going to be West Brom nil, Everton 2. And there you can see Simone Scuffett on his debut gets the man of the match with an 8.7 rating. So great stuff there and Everton now, ninth in the league after four games played. Our rivals Liverpool are top and that's a bit disappointing, but there's it's only start of the day, it's early season yet. There's lots of time to go. We're going to try and get the top four. Tune in, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace.